guys back out here with the TLR Tomb Typhon 6S. Uh, we're going to be making another 6S pass. Did do a couple things, geared up, uh, made some changes to the ESC a bit, um, and also opened up the wing here uh, to kind of eliminate some drag and um, just eliminate some of that downforce. Not that I really need it since I am doing a speed run here. Uh, I'm trying to think if I did anything else modification wise, I don't think so. Um, I'm still running the uh, stock center differential which is a 50 tooth um, it is making things tight now that I did go up in gear uh, so I think eventually what we'll end up doing is get, picking up a, uh, maybe like a 40 46 tooth spool or something like that I don't know uh, we'll see so let's get everything plugged in here and we'll make a quick pass and see how we do all right guys we're ready to go here we've got satellites running i did heat the battery up and over uh, overcharged it a bit uh, so let's see how it does hopefully i don't get any esc cut uh. so what a nice clean pass hoping to get into the 80s maybe around 85 did do uh, 77 last time so we should see an improvement on that definitely an improvement we'll bring it back and take a look at what speed we got but I think we definitely broke into the 80s there if I had to guess I'd probably be around 85 Try to back up that pass. See if we can get a hundred. All right, guys. Uh, I didn't think we'd hit a hundred. I know it was definitely faster than my previous uh, 77 mile an hour. Um, I just didn't think I'd break anywhere close to 100 yet. But yeah, 99 is really good. Go ahead and see if we can get that hundred. All right, guys, here we go. thing is dialed in. I love the way this thing drives. Ooh. Let's see if we got that hundred. not there <laughs> that sucks um, so yeah just to kind of go over what I did I didn't think I'd pick up that much speed um, let me just pop it open check see how I don't bring my temp gun but I do have my hand sensor here and uh, it's probably in the 120s I mean I can definitely hold on to it now it's back-to-back -back passes 
ESC feels fine. So again, stock center differential, 50 tooth, went up to a 31 tooth and I messed with the timing, bumped up the timing a bit um, to get more RPM on the motor. So let's say I'm doing a speed pass. I also lowered the punch down. Um, so yeah, uh, hit a new PB, 99 miles an hour. This is all stock electronics. Uh, definitely 100 is there. Um, if I bump up probably to a 32, I do have a 32 tooth. Um, the only problem with that is, as you can see, um, I had to bump it down to one motor mount bolt here because as far as uh, getting both to fit, it would be an issue because um, the other um, uh, screw hole for the mount is on this side and I can't get both to fit, so I could only put one in there. Um, so as far as fitting a pinion size with both uh, motor mounts, um, motor mount screws, um, it's basically impossible if you're going anywhere past maybe 29, uh, maybe 28 would be really tight. Um, well, no, I, I managed to get the 28 to fit, but, um, but yeah, I think once you get past 30, um, as far as getting uh, motor mount bolts in here to hold that in place, that's where you're going to run into an issue. Uh, but these do a really great job. Uh, I picked this up from Ace Hardware. As you guys know from my previous video, I mentioned that. Um, and it's doing a good job holding it in place. So what I think I'll end up doing is going up to a 32 tooth. Again, still in the stock differential. I could just swap out the spool, swap out the center differential, put in a spool. Um, and then get to over 100 miles an hour. But again, I'm trying to do this with as much uh, stock stuff as possible. So I don't want to change out the uh, center differential at all. Um, I want to keep everything as is if you were just to buy it uh, from your, buy it online or from your uh, local hobby store. Uh, so it's just playing with the pinion, uh, slapping a big lipo in there and uh, doing some adjustments to the ESC to kind of get you there. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching guys.